So a diagnosis of cancer in, in for your pet or anyone in your family is it is a scary diagnosis and and you're like what do I do now? I'm Dr. Lisa Forrest. I'm a board certified radiation oncologist and radiologist and a professor here at UW School of Veterinary Medicine. I think it's important to come to a center such as here at UW Veterinary Care where we have the oncology team that encompasses um, people in medical oncology, radiation oncology, surgical oncology, and so that we have um, everyone in one place and we can work together as a team to figure out what is the best route. There's no right or wrong way um, to go with regards to treating your pet with cancer. The helical tomotherapy unit we have here was invented on this campus and it is the same um, machine that they use over at UW Hospital for treating humans. UW Veterinary Care was the first place to have helical tomotherapy to treat animals and now there is only one other place in the world. Tomotherapy is a linear accelerator, which is a radiation therapy machine that's mounted on a helical CT scanner. And so we're able to get image-guided radiation therapy that accurately pinpoints the tumor and avoids normal tissues that are adjacent. Really, it's sort of become the sky's the limit as far as what we can treat because this modality is so accurate and so versatile. Um, so we tend to, we treat nasal tumors, soft tissue sarcomas, oral melanoma tumors, uh, other tumors. We treat uh, bone tumors, osteosarcoma in a palliative setting. When we choose tomotherapy to treat your dog or cat with cancer, we're going to decide on either a curative approach or a palliative approach. With curative, we're hoping that we will rid the cancer completely. Where with a palliative, it's a, generally a larger tumor that we know we can't cure. And what we're trying to do is um, decrease the amount of pain and make the quality of life of your pet better. I think the three most important things to think about when you're deciding on a treatment for your pet with cancer is quality of life for your pet, quality of life for you, what your expectations are for this therapy, and then the cost. And it's something that um, you need to think about and talk to us about, and we'll try to help you make that decision, but the decision is ultimately yours. Let's get healthy.